Hi everybody, here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator on my Xbox Series S and as you can see I've had a rather unfortunate accident in my Spitfire. We're upside down on a field. I have of course got um, damage turned off which means that when I crash like this um, the game doesn't end. But you may well think, well that's it then, I need to restart my flight. But watch this. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so this is what is called uh, slew mode, um, whereby you, the game ignores all the physics and uh, writes your aeroplane, and then you can be on your merry way. Now, you've got to be careful, because sometimes funny things happen, like the throttle gets killed and, and things like that. But as you can see, I have now recovered from my crash. I can carry on doing what I'm doing. And then if it's going to slew mode again, there we go. And in fact, you can use slew mode to... Um, uh, go uh, all the way up into space. You can go up to 200,000 feet, but I'll save that for another video. There we go, we have control again, and we're flying around. So you're saying, well, wait a minute, how do I access slew, ro slew mode? Well, let me show you. Let's pause the game. Because out of the box, as of now, on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator on, on Xbox, slew mode isn't given any um, key bindings. So if we go into control options, then what you want to do is you want to search by name and search for S L E W and you'll see toggle slew mode all right and now yours will be blank so you you click on the little box and you'll say um uh, so let's clear current input and you'll say uh, s select an input and you go start scanning and what you do is use the click in both your right and left sticks at the same time. Like that. So your right and left stick, click them both in at the same time. So that, I don't think that's used for anything else. And then you can validate that. And then you press Y to save it. Saved. And now, if you accidentally crash... There you go. You just click in both your right and left stick at the same time. The game goes into um, slew mode. Um, it's right stick to go up. Or sorry, right trigger to go up, left trigger to go down. Um, right stick changes the way your orientation spins you around. You go backwards and forwards with the left stick, left and right. And just keep going. Put the plane where you want it to be. Now, the higher you go, the faster it, it climbs as well. So you'll see, start to see it accelerate. Then click both sticks in at the same time. Keep an eye on that throttle though, because see it's, it's killed my throttle. Sometimes your engine might turn off as well. Let's put the throttle back up. And we're off. Again. So there we go, slew mode. Really, really useful when you're doing things like practicing flying underneath bridges. <laughs> flying down val valleys because if you crash just turn slew mode on take off again and give it another go rather than having to restart the mission but anyway remember you must have damage turned off because you haven't got, if you've got damage turned off and you crash the, the game will just say you've damaged the aircraft and start again right that's enough from me if you found it useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon